I've always been watching African movies from Blood Sister Days and I've always been curious to try this fufu. So if you're interested in trying this, keep on watching. I'm sure there are different types of fufu, but for my Jamaicans watching, all you need is cassava and plantain to make the one that I'm going to be attempting to make today. All right, so you're going to peel your cassava and you already know how to do that if you're a real Jamaican. And we're also going to peel our plantain. After peeling the cassava, you want to cut it up in small pieces because we are going to blend that, all right? If there's any little part that needs to come off, you can go ahead and pare it off like these little black stuff that's on the cassava. You can pare them off and also remove that hard stuff from the center before slicing this up. So, of course, I'm Jamaican, but as you know, we are African at heart. We weren't born in Africa, so of course I had to do some research, I had to do some digging to find out how to make fufu. I did some googling and I've watched a few videos. So today we're going to try two different methods. Um, one from Oboda's Kitchen and the traditional method from cooking it by cooking it from scratch. So, I bought this plant and it was green, I promise you it was green, but in space of a day it changed color, but we're still going to use it, we're going to slice it up, we're going to rinse everything and we're going to throw, throw it in our blender and blend it out until it's smooth. So for the first method, which is from Obada's Kitchen, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but I'll go back and search and place her name on the screen so that you can go check out her channel. She placed some water and plantain and cassava in her blender and blend it out until it is like of a smooth consistency and then we're gonna cover it with a plate place it in the microwave and we're gonna give it eight minutes all right so keep on watching and let me know which method you are interested in trying so after eight minutes this is what it looks like it was really nice and smooth and for further steps, you have to shape it and get it ready to be eaten. But of course, I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mine in a plastic wrap and set it aside until I am ready to have my dinner. I was making some curried goat and that's what I'm going to have this with. All right. So for the next step, we are going to do the same process of blending our cassava and our plantain. And then we're going to head over to the stove, which is going to be our traditional method. I added a cup of water and I'm adding my remaining cassava and plantain. And I'm going to blend this until it has like a smoothie consistency. And then we're going to continue with our traditional method, which is on the stove top. I'm going to be using my Dutch pot because this can get lumpy very easily when you're stirring so you have to start on a low heat and you have to use your whisk and your wooden spoon so it's best to use a pot like a dutch pot so you don't scratch up your pot when you're using your whisk all right so i'm gonna go over to the stove now i just added some more water in the blender to rinse out what was left inside and now i'm just gonna pour it in my pot i have my stove on low heat so i started with my whisk to prevent this from lumping because this is almost like cooking cornmeal porridge it gets lumpy easy if you don't continue stirring in the beginning all right so the whisk was making a lot of noise so i decided to set it aside and continue with my wooden spoon so after 30 minutes this is what it looks like and i was stirring this and I continue cooking it for 45 minutes because I wasn't getting the same consistency as the one that I cooked in the microwave. I don't know how that was possible. I only cooked it in the microwave for 8 minutes. So I know I have a few Nigerian friends that I might share this video with. So Cubsden, Renoma Empire, Trisha King, whoever may watch this video um, from any part of Africa. Just let me know what did I do wrong. Should I have added more water um, to this traditional method? I don't know. I think so. It didn't taste bad, guys. It tasted like bami. But the one that I did in the microwave went down smoothly. All right. And if you watch to the end of the video, you will see me enjoying my fufu. And it was so delicious with my curry goat and my curry doll so just continue watching guys so yeah it's been 45 minutes and i gave up and yeah that's it that's how we're gonna eat it <laughs> so 
I place it in the plastic wrap again to get the nice shape that they have when it's on their plate or in their bowl. And yeah, watch me eat my fufu. So the one that I have on my plate, um, it's the one that I made in the microwave that I'm going to enjoy right now. And they do use your hands to eat it. So don't criticize me for doing that. It's okay to try other countries' tradition. It's okay to try their food. And it's delicious. We already eat cassava. We already eat plantain. So it's nothing new. Um, it's just a different method of cooking it. So try it out. Let me know in the comment section what you think. All right. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Bye.